before we get to the main content, I just want to show how I make my alcohol ink gel mixtures. This ink here is from the Tim Holtz Ranger ink collection and is called Stonewash, a light gray blue color. You always see acrylic artists mixing polish and inks into monomer to create or uh, to change the color of clear acrylic powders. So here's my solution to that with gel. The gel I'm using here is a runny gel called IBD Clear and I put a dollop on some parchment paper. I don't add one or two drops of ink, I just squeeze until the gel is fully covered with a bit pooling around and mix it until it's fully incorporated. Here you can see some of the ink has not been fully mixed into the gel, so I just take another spatula and scrape it off and continue to mix. Once mixed, I collect the gel into a watercolor container and allow it to sit for 24 hours so that the alcohol ink can react out the gel and pop all of the bu bubbles in the mixture. You must store the container upright if you're using a low viscosity gel like I am, but if you're using high viscosity gel like Young Nails Clear Sculptor, you could put it in the container, store it upright for 24 hours, and then it can be placed any which way. You can also use an opaque container, but I just shield mine from the light while working and while storing. So here I've sculpted a nail out of gel and I put a layer of IBD clear on it and do not cure. The ink gel mixes I have made here are from the same collection, starting with Espresso, Teak, Rust, and Stonewashed. I just place the colors randomly and allow the gels to run into one another, and again, do not cure just yet. I wipe my brush to not mix dark colors into the lighter colors in the pots. To add a dimensional effect, I have chrome flakies that shift to red gold and I press those into the wet gel in random places and again, do not cure. With the gel still wet, I take these gear pieces and I place them more towards the back and the center of the nail. These are the parts of the nail that will have the most product and strength on them. So I don't have to worry about filing on those pieces. And again, don't cure because we're not done yet. I have plastic caviar beads, not the steel ones, but it's dealer's choice really, that I randomly place into the wet gel just to accent the nail further. And then when I'm done placing the caviar beads where I want them, I cure for a full 60 seconds. Instead of just capping in clear gel, I come back with more of the alcohol ink mixture and I add lighter colors on top of the gear pieces and add a few more flakies uh, across the gear pieces and come with a few streaks of the darker color. The curing process does change the color of some of the inks by fading them when mixed with a runny gel. With a thicker gel, this tends to not happen, but in my opinion, it's, it's really not that bad.
it's at this point we're not adding anything else to the snail and we have to give it structure. The snail won't survive out there being this thin. After a quick overlay with IBD Clear, we have a nail with structure that just needs a bit of shaping. And look at that. It honestly has all the colors of fall. The inks, teak and espresso, especially, give the nail dimension and the flakes give off these violent pangs of red. A perfect nail for autumn, even without the gear pieces. I'm probably going to make a set out of this again. This inspiration was from a steampunk set Susie from Nail Career Education did on her channel and they looked beautiful and amazing and I wanted that. So I went out, I bought alcohol inks and I found a whole tin of 20 at my local Salvation Army. When I did that, I failed to fully seal some of the nails and when I sprayed my hands with alcohol, it caused some of the nails to crack where I had encapsulated them. And uh, what this method does, where you mix the gel with the alcohol ink, is it, it makes the alcohol ink inert, meaning that it will not react with hand sanitizer or other liquid alcohols, and you get a nail that has more depth. Anyways, thank you for watching, and until next time.